Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday. Crockpot dinner. Yeah, like what I had talked about the other day. Um, we actually woke up really early to get this all together. Yes, you are here. Thank you for letting us know. Oh, they're pulling garbage out of the garbage. Um, this is the, the crockpot dinner thing. Um, it's chicken and dumplings. And to do the dumplings, you use biscuit dough, which I find really weird. But all the reviews online said that it really does taste like dumplings. It's just you do the crockpot thing, and then how, what it's like when there's two, two hours, hours left, left, you put in all this biscuit dough stuff. So I have I've been at home all day smelling this. Mel just got home, and um, it smells so good, so good. I'm a big fan of chicken dough and dumplings as well. So the recipe was online. I'll put it in the um, in the description. The only thing we changed. I added more spices and I changed up the soup. And more I also got rid of the water and added chicken broth instead of the water. You used chicken broth instead of water and you did what? I added spices. There spices. were no spices in the original recipe. Oh, and we used a fourth an onion. Yeah, because a whole onion looked like a lot. Yeah, I, the, the recipe asked, uh, said a whole onion and I, I chopped the onion this morning the and I was like, this right thing there. is crazy. Yeah. It's right here, but we'll put the uh, we'll put it in the description. It's uh, slow cooker chicken and dumplings on all recipes. It's down below. Go go get it. Um, hopefully it's good, but we have another two hours on it, and then we'll know for sure. Mm -hmm. God, I'm excited. I can see how that that's going to turn into dumpling s stuff. You are so attention hungry, little kitten. Yeah, they're going to puff up and soak up all the liquid. So. Oh, okay. Also, people have been asking if Kep was okay because he hasn't really been in. The video as much because Sagan is walking around meowing, see, yeah, just like that. So Sagan's been getting a lot of film time and uh, Kepler not so much. And people are like, is, is Kepler okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's sometimes good, sometimes bad, always a cap. Several hours later, and it is all set. And man, does it smell amazing! So did that dough become dumpling? It looks like it did. Does it taste amazing? Yeah. It looks amazing. Oh man, dinner time is here. Start with the uh, the part that I know is going to be absolutely excellent, which is the chicken. Really hot, wow. Told you. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, it tastes good. It tastes good. But the real, the, the big question here is how are those dumplings? I'm pretty impressed. I'm actually, I'm actually really impressed. That biscuit dough really does taste like dumplings. It's a lot cheaper than buying gnocchi as well, mm -hmm. because gnocchi is friggin' expensive. A plus. Thank you. A plus. You did you. a wonderful job. You did a great job cutting up the onion. <laughs> it took me forever to do that. Yeah, you don't know how to cut things. <sighs> anyway, this is amazing. Um, as I said before, the recipe is down below. Do it up, folks, because it, it's spectacular. I mean, it is really, really good. Slow cooker, chicken and dumplings, absolute success. And uh, we have another slow cooker meal. When are we doing that one? Mm, when do you want to do it? Are we doing it this week? Sure. Okay. All right. Well, there's going to be another slow cooker meal, hopefully just as good as this one. It's hopefully beef. better. Hopefully better. Mount, we have, we have beef stew, which is the other one we're doing. Then we have chicken and dumplings. Kind of like southern and northern comfort. sensibilities. Yeah. Comfort food coming together, especially because I'm representing the southern portion of our, our meals, and Mao is representing the northern portion, even down to the meats where chicken is more of a southern thing, um, and beef is more of a northern thing. But this is awesome. And I have high hopes for the other meal as well. This was easy. It was easy. You, we you only, wouldn't have done it. I, yeah, well, and I would have if I needed to. Um, we worked on this this morning for like 10 minutes at most, and we were done. And then just sat in the, the slow cooker all day, and bam. And now we have delicious stuff. I, uh, before I end this off, there was a few comments that I've seen in the past um, over you know a, a fairly long amount of time. College students that said, man, that food looks so good, but I'm a poor college student. And I'm like, no, <laughs> wrong. This is wrong. That's the wrong sensibility for this. If, if you're a college student, you really, really, really should invest in a slow cooker. They're not very expensive. Um, I think the one we have is like 40 bucks or something like that. So they're not incredibly expensive. Um, you can throw a bunch of ingredients in there. They taste amazing. 
and you have food for like a week. Don't, 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 don't do that. Or well, if you're a college student, maybe a few days, because you eat a lot. At least if you're a guy and you're like me. Um, but seriously, don't, don't do that. Where you're like, oh, I'm a college student, so I can't eat good food. No, no. Get a slow cooker, because it's it's worth the investment. Anyway, that that's that's gonna be it for today. Cats are over there playing with food because they're apparently out of toys to play with. Um, thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? She can't eat them, so she was like, you take the pancakes. Now I have four pancakes. You have a lot of food. Yeah, I do have a lot of food. I can eat that bacon for you. Huh. Where'd you learn to play? My mother taught me. She was a bard from the college in solitude. I hear they accept most people who apply.